little chill computer guy today we're here in Bitwig studio so we're gonna take a look at the sampler um, let's go ahead and open up a new project once you got the sampler open a lot of people don't understand the sampler in Bitwig studio is very very powerful I'm gonna go ahead and throw a vocal loop in here real quick and we'll take a look at what I'm talking about his paintings I could look at them for hours I love how his bodies constantly mutate and reshape themselves that's a sample, it's a vocal sample, it's old uh, Vintage Movies Volume 1. Um, but now once I, once I have it in the sampler, you're going to notice, I'm going to hit middle C. His paintings. I could look at them for hours. And it plays the sample. I love how his body is constantly... Now you'll notice I'll go clear down the keyboard. His paintings. I could look at them for hours. I'm at the same pitch. Now up here along the top, you'll see a keyboard icon. It's grayed out, meaning that every key is going to have the same pitch. Now if I click on that, it's going to range the pitch depending on the key. Again, middle C, which is a C3, which is where it's set at. If I go down the keyboard to like a C1, for example. I could look at them for hours. I could look at them for hours. It's paintings. I could look at paintings. It's paintings. It's paintings. So that's what that icon does here. So this is basically your keyboard tracking. So if it's grayed out, it's paint, it's paint, it's paint, it's paint, it's paint, it's paint. It's every key is going to be the same pitch. If you turn it on, then each key you hit will be a different pitch. It's painting. It's painting. It's painting. It's painting. It's painting. It's painting. Now that's that. Now the next icon over here, which will be grayed out if the keyboard is, is that's where your middle point is going to be so that's basically the root now you have your semitone here so you can do some fine tuning on the pitch there 12 semitones is an octave here this is just the db level how loud the sample is and then next to that this little arrow here is going to reverse the sample so if this arrow is grayed out then it's going to play it's forward painting. if you click the arrow it's going to play the sample backwards now next to that you have a loop icon so this is where it really starts getting in front and if you click on the loop icon you're gonna see some more handles are gonna appear these blue handles here you can adjust this and this is gonna adjust your loop I could look at them for hours 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 for 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 h
Anyway, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Show Computer Guy. Uh, we'll see you next week. Comment and leave a thumbs up. Thanks again.